We all love Dora. We all enjoy playing Dora. Trust the process. Trust everything we worked on. It's gonna come when it's supposed to come at the right time. I think we're blessed. We're here. Great tournament. Great setup. Great teammates. Great org. You know, this is a nice day. This is a blessed day. So let's just enjoy it. You know, and good luck with you guys. My first impressions of OG have been that the support and people around you are very positive and very helpful. Just the environment and atmosphere is really good in the in the York. And I've been really impressed and like surprised by how quickly me and Whisper have been able to synergize. And I also think we've got a good dynamic between us and the, the older members of the team as well. I think the, the culture and like respect between all the players in the team is really good. A bottle of water. It doesn't give you a, um, an airy bobble head, no. It doesn't. No, one of those. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Bonky, bonky head. Would you like an airy oh, bobble works. head? No, I want them. Okay, maybe I do actually. That sounds cool. I'll do my best set. What is it, Manon? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> the answer. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> The start of the team was a little weird for the language and else, but uh, I think it's better. I feel really excited to play with the team because they have a lot of experience for tournaments, etc. We played good the last tournaments, uh, Dubai and Dream League. The last one, not good, but uh, sometimes happened. My personal goal this event, I want to have a good uh, performance, I think, because it's my first tournament land with the, the team. So. Who will eat all the snacks on the boot camp? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I guess you can say we are both young and old because we got Sep. So it's not like we don't have a veteran amongst us, even though the other four of us are some of the more inexperienced players in, on the scene. Yeah. What's your first time in Dota? 2.5. 2.5? What an animal. Lowest level what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> okay, you were quick. I thought that was a bluff. No, no, I am coming. Bonkers tried to impressionate you, but didn't do that well. <laughs> yeah. Slow uh -huh. conversation there. <laughs> you know, the tongue kind of comes back. Oh. Anything could happen. <laughs> where, where with you, it's just it's it's just not that at all. If you know. It's Since this lineup was formed, I'd say we had a really good time together overall. There's been high and lows. And overall, I think we're just a team that grows well and fast together. Last season we felt sometimes helpless, we felt like we have a ceiling that's really hard to go over and, and now it feels really different. We know why we lose, we always understand why right away. There are things that have to be changed and fixed of course, we're doing that, but I think overall we're having a good time for all these reasons. Preparing for this event kind of just comes from the month of qualifiers we've just done. The average level of any team here is going to be really high, it's not like a 20 team tournament where there's a couple that might be easier than the rest, so whoever you play is going to be difficult to win. First match is Azure Ray. I think we believe they'll be very strong, a tough match, but we also believe in ourselves, we're very confident in what we do, so we think we have a good chance. Fuck. What is my fault? I'm really strong. I'm not doubting it, bro. Look, with two fingers. Like, Ooh. people say he's... Strongest fingers in both. Uh, right strongest there. fingers in Dota, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like away from the PC. Oh, oh dude, that is so buff. <laughs> this is the finish. Of the <laughs> that was sad. That was sad. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 Very naughty boy. <laughs> Remind yourself how we play Dota. Try to focus on good Dota. Yeah. And let's go. Oh, Bach. He found it. initiation onto Ari to start things out with the Hex onto the Void Spirit. BZM's in a lot of trouble. The same he's going to go in a little bit of space. They got First the lion, attack they got is the, the FY Lion. Ori looks to be next. So two big deaths on the side of Azure Ray as Lou now getting bashed up despite having his BKB. And he gets brought down to his knees. So just like that, they did lose BZM, but a, a four for one concoction will be successfully cast under the enemy this time. And now the Ancient fully exposed as Azure Ray looking to take game number one. Yuragi has to try to fight his way out of this without Chemical Rage up. He just dies. That's a uh -oh. dieback. Easy peasy for Azure Ray. Seb looks like he's next on the list. So GG's called. Azure Ray taking advantage of a couple of mistakes from OG. 
and take game number one. When you lose these games that you're supposed to win, they can have a bigger impact because then you don't really know what to look for, like where to look. You don't want to point fingers because especially if the underperforming comes from a lack of confidence already, but at the same time, you don't want things not to be said because if they, they aren't said, people start overthinking. So it's a tough call. We, we, we played very shy, but to be honest, you know, we got to do the tournament, we get to know the teams, we're like, we're nice, we're polite, we're gentlemen, you know, we're like, uh, taking it easy on them, you know, being like, hi, nice to meet you. Now we know each other, we're comfortable, let's get close mm. to them, you know, let's be very comfortable with them. From this point onwards to come back for OG, I don't want to crush people's hopes, but it is incredibly hard. Ari trying to buy some space as the arena comes out onto two. Yoraki comes up with the BKB, doesn't really want to chronosphere his teammates. Sonic Wave coming in from the low ground as well as the egg onto the high ground, so actually a pretty good placement overall from Seb. And they will be able to take up FY eventually. Now Seb being gone on, but will dive to the other side. And Yoragi and company trying to retreat. And now the buyback comes out of the FY and the Astral Imprisonment from Ori. Oh, with the spear oh, the set up. Void at half HP, Ori. Can you get the job done? Doesn't have Sanity's Eclipse, but it doesn't matter. The right clicks will suffice. First match against Azure Ray, me personally felt a bit pressured. We didn't really play like we usually do, so it was quite messy. Definitely not 100% confidence. Somehow you need to find a way to find your confidence back. They have. Oh, they have 20% chance to win. It's a joke. El primer juego. Ah, in, oh, okay, okay, okay. He's saying that in like in various things to say, and then in the first game, they have like a 20% chance to win this game, it's 80%, like 80-20 for us, like there's no way they win this game, yeah. It's 20-24, like everybody is super focused not only on fights, also on how to play the map. And you, you are not slow, you are the same team every day, like I promise you, like you are actually the same team every day. You are never slow, you are only slow when you are losing 10k gold minute 15, that's when you are slow. I think the most is fun when we lost. The people, it's mad a bit, but when you have a grandfather like Seb, I think uh, it's uh, or easy. It's easy because he can talk to you to how fix some things on it. So close the book. Don't overthink things in game. Like play the game. Like we all love Dora. We all enjoy playing Dora. We're gonna get a really nice pub. As in, you know, we're, we're going to get uh, really nice four teammates. We're all going to be like together. It's going to be great, you know. And just trust the process. Trust everything we worked on. It's going to come when it's supposed to come at the right time. Trust life, generally. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to come. Don't worry about it. We're working hard. We're putting in a lot of effort. I've been there a lot before. These efforts, they pay off. They don't pay off when you want them to. You can't make them pay off when you desire. They come. So all you, our job right now is to feel free, have fun. Because it's a really big deal in Dora. Like, having fun instead of like, feeling pressure, feeling like, oh, am I doing the right thing? Fuck this shit. The reason why we played Dora in the first place is because we opened that game one day and we had a lot of fun. We're like, fuck, this is so fucking awesome. I enjoy it. I want to beat people. I want to outplay them. Uh, whatever you saw, you know, whatever I saw, whatever he saw. So have fun, feel free, and that's it. And the rest will come, you know? And we do this together. Trust each other, of course. Let's be a team. Let's empower each other. Trust, you know? Because I could be looking at the games that we played in the other tournament, like, uh, you know, not the new one, not this one this morning, the other tournament that we played yesterday and the other tournament we played two days ago. I could be looking at, uh, I don't know, some games against Tundra in the final of the qualifier. Or I can be looking at how we won 20 maps in a row, how we were destroying everybody in scrims, how we 20 minute team spirit, 20 minute bed boom, 20 minute team liquid. I can be looking at that too, you know? Why would I be looking at stuff that got in our minds or maybe confidence issues, maybe trust issues, whatever it was, you know. Look at, like, our peak is the games that we played that looked how they looked, like how powerful and how fast and how trust and how I can be looking at how we were fighting versus Tundra even though we had a losing draft and every fucking spell was landing from everyone. It was clutch as fuck. It was instant reactions. And after that, we felt all of it together. We're like, holy shit. I'm, I know we all got the feeling of like, holy shit, that was some sick Dora, you know, from the five of us. So. This is what I have in me going into this game and I'm planning to feel free, planning to have fun, you know, and have fun with you guys, obviously, if you're going to join me on the fun. And that's it. That's it for today. And then whatever happens next happens. I think we're blessed. We're here. Great tournament, great setup, great teammates, great org. You know, this is a nice day. This is a blessed day. So let's just enjoy it, you know. Nothing gruesome, nothing heavy about all of this. Okay? So let's just feel free, have fun, you know, let's enjoy the next couple hours.
and good luck to these guys. Let's go, let's go. Wow! wow. Let's go. Hiragi! Do they have the complete and utter control? No, they don't. Time walk away. Rolling Thunder gonna run out soon. And behind them is BZN. They've got the spear from the Rubik. Yes, Seb, he's gonna hit Yuma and connect him over to the tree. They go to them with the arena. They've got himself the BKB being popped by Gunner. But the Phantom's embrace and another arena down that's gonna be stolen by Seb. Put around the side of Nouns. They lose that Mars. Down goes the Pango. Yuma trying to stand his ground with the Metamorphosis. He's got a little bit of that shield. He throws out that Sunder. Still can't kill anybody on the side of OG. The lose fly. That's three heroes gone. Make it a fourth with Lois dead and a full team wipe for OG. And they lose nothing. Goes back onto the low ground and will be stunned up. They've got the swap. It's going to be on a set. They'll at least take out the Rubik immediately. So they've got that going for them. Yoragi's going to focus his attention onto Good fly. Spear. Oh, Spear connects. They get the kill to BZM. They take him out for the first time. Now the time walk in. Yoragi looking to clean up everybody. Stormstormer goes down. He's going to buy back. Down goes Yuma. Unable to do anything. Telekinesis out of the Mars. That's going to be another full team wipe here for the side of OG. Ultra kill for Yoragi. GG is called. Nice one. announce match. I think we came more prepared than to the previous. Too. In the game, we tried to feel as free as we as we could, so we played probably uh, yeah, our best series yet. I think OG did a one hell of a job countering their lanes, putting yeah. this Dragon Knight, and, and also... Yuma's in trouble and dead now too, so Whisper's got another kill in this lane. Whisper's like, yeah, that first game didn't mean anything, I'll I'll show you my Whisper. He still is, I think, the best South American player. Half HP on the Gunner here. Onslaught, uh-oh, Inkswell, I don't know if that's even gonna save you, Rolling Thunder's coming around, but there's the Soulbind to stop him in his track, so he'll stop the Rolling Thunder, they're gonna go forward with Whisper. Stormstormer on the retreat. Fate hits, and now Stormstormer not having any mana left. Has the Mage Slayer on him, he's in trouble. He'll go down and they'll look for more. They've got Ursa coming into the fight again. He's in the middle of all these heroes. Can he get anything out of this one? Ari is the one in trouble, but he's able to get away. Whisper now, he's poking so his, dead. his attention in. They'll get the kill on the Yuma, they'll take out Fly. This is an onslaught in, and probably the way back's in a body bag for Gunner, because he is surrounded. They'll even go for Lelis. They'll look for the full team wipe here. 15 minutes in, everybody's gone. With the damage coming through in a gunner, that's gonna be a trade that they're probably not looking to make. 48 seconds without buyback for this Primal Beast. Down goes Yuma, and that's gonna be another with Fly Lois all dropping. Can it be another team wipe before this stops? It will be Stormstormers gone. 2-0 for OG as they just dismantle Nouns. I mean, OG, this is something that they really needed because they were down 0-4, and, and now you're 2-4, you've got that glimmer of hope. Despite the losses we had, very rough ones, I think we maintained a really good mood, and a mood that actually allowed us to keep working, keep improving, and keep getting better until we found our groove again, honestly. I'm very proud of it, because I know it's really hard, so now we just need to figure out, you know, what has to be changed, what has to be worked on. When we had only Team Spirit match left and we knew that we had to 2-0, to usually when team is in that position, the pressure is at insane high level, but we managed to control it, I think. Yesterday we had a talk telling each other that, hey guys, like nothing's done. We can do this tomorrow, we will do this tomorrow. And I think that was like a real honest conversation where everybody shared confidence and energy and everybody felt it. Now, I think it worked, it turned out really well. OG trying to go for Roche. Spirit have an idea this is happening. They scanned it. Yes, they did. He's getting really low. Yotaro might be just waiting to try to steal. He's going to pounce in at a perfect oh, time. Okay, but Yoragi gets the Aegis to pounce back out. Yotaro, yeah. he took the cheese. A beautiful rolling thunder on the several heroes along with Yotaro actually trying to right click Ari. He's going to reroute his entire attacking mechanism to the bottom. Looks like he's actually just going to run away as Maposhka will be taken out thanks to the Unleash. Yoragi wants to chase Yotaro. Yotaro's completely out of mana. Nice block from BZM. Pops the cheese. Slow down and brought down. We have a fight oh, here. Smoke, Yuragi smoke, the frog. Whisper. Initiation to start with the burst damage. Not enough to take out the timber saw, so Whisper's gonna be fine. Mirror in the meantime is not, not invulnerable this time around. So just like that, it's a five versus four. Is OG want to continue on? Flamethrower activated. Hex onto the Slardar. He gets two. destroyed as well. Does have this buyback. Is a grave on top of Lara, but you can see the shard applied to him by Yatoro. Not gonna be enough. Double kill for Whisper. Well, can he get out? And Yatoro Bash. gets bashed up. Whisper is there. Run Continuing fishy, fishy. on, gets silenced, BKB. has to pop his BKB, pounce away, attempted Ooh, TP. Bash, he bashed him. First hit from Ari. Very fortunate for OG fans, and just like that, it's a four for nothing. So one tier four oh, remains. Ari. Initiation from Yatar. There's the buyback from Collapse. They destroy Mira right at the start. No buyback for him. And now Yatoro trying to kite them a bit. Nice Abyssal. And they actually kill off Laurel before he can get off any spells. He has his buyback intact, though. 
As the damage is being applied to Collapse right now, Laurel buys back into the game, gets off the grave, but again, they're going to initiate on top of the Dazzle, but it looks like Ari's the one to drop, but that's A the dieback. dieback finally coming out on Laurel. They focus him down, and there's not much now that the that Team Spirit can do to delay this any longer. The buybacks come through for OG. Ancient is exposed. Double kill for BZM. Damn, doing trying it. to take out Slark. Yatoro gets dropped like he's hot. And finally, game one ends. OG win. That means they're still alive. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Why are we delaying this game for 30 minutes? Uh, well, dude, okay, one step at a time, okay? Like, do you remember <laughs> where we come from? Take it easy. Uh, no, but for sure, like, the one thing, and then I want to talk about this game anymore, it's just, like, if we're gonna go high ground, guys, like, like, uh, or, like, or, like, you know, these game-defining moments, we need to tone down the excitement, and we need to actually talk about Ange, talk about Lion, talk about yeah. who helps who. Like, the reason why we all died mid is because we were, like, we we're actually saying, uh, just thrown, just thrown. Yeah, well, just thrown. They have something to say about that, so we just need to figure out. But anyways, great game. Good stuff. We came in this tournament, we lost the first game killing Ench, we win the last game <laughs> killing Ench. <laughs> this is... <laughs> so game number one between OG and Team Spirit was a thing to behold. Will it happen again? Will OG win? And thus force a tiebreaker between them and Bet Boom. After what I've seen today, it's written in the stars. Spirit, though, they want to fight. Yeah. They want to use this Aegis in some capacity. 30 seconds left on his Whisper. Collapse. They find him. Can they get the lockdown they... again? Boat's coming for you. Whisper really low gets off the Primal Split at the last moment. A lot was used from what? Team Spirit. Slark is Slark it. Yuragi? Okay. Yutaro gets off the song. He's trying to wave miss. things out. Killing the Poshka. The Poshka. He's going to end up dropping here, and now the focus is on BZM. But a oh, nice BZM blast is from Ari as the primal split still continuing to do oh, work. Two, two seconds, Aegis. Yotaro is completely surrounded. Aegis is about to be consumed. Collapse goes down. Yotaro now trying to run away. He's getting extremely low with no more Aegis to work with. Being pursued by Ari. Hot tail gets the taser off, and there is the shard again from oh. Seb. Yotaro just trying to right click his way through it, but it's not going to happen. It's a triple kill for BZM. Oh, uh, disruption. Oh. Maposhka, they have vision. Gale Force Orange. again. Boat oh. is coming. The court hits three people! Oh, god. oh my oh. god! OG are melting! Seb just barely gets out. They can see Iragi inside his Shadow Dance, able to TP out. They lose three. Honestly, could have been so much worse, Whoa. but that was still pretty bad for OG. So 25 seconds without Boat. the Dragon Knight. Boat coming in. Whisper, gonna get stunned along with Yuragi, able okay. to dark pact it off. Another beautiful shackle from Seb on the back line, oh, but another tidal beautiful tidal wave to counter it as Whisper getting extremely low. Lotus up, but X Mark brings him back. Die back for him. No way to get back in the game. And now a tier four remaining, not for long though, as Team Spirit focusing all their efforts on this kill onto Seb and also the ancient fully exposed. Yuragi trying his best to keep this game alive, oh, to keep their back. tournament lives alive as BZM oh, inside the ancient itself, the Black Dragon. Will it reign supreme? Absolutely not. Another beautiful shackle from Seb. Yotaro getting extremely low, focusing the Ancient. Another Gale Force is there. Laurel has to back away. The Ancient has no He's HP. Get it. One more right click from Yotaro. Finishes the job. Wow. There was a little bit of playing for not to lose instead of playing to win. So rough way to lose. But at the same time, we were very competitive. And I'm sure that this was one of the, the toughest years they had to play here. It's tough. But uh, not ashamed at all in the way we got it. We went out. How we went through this together, super, super happy, super grateful, and super proud. Yeah. It was a good game, right? It was a good series. You played a fucking really nice series. It was a good series. I mean, if we played like that every game, we'd be like top three tournament, you know? But we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Sometimes it's too little, too late. On to the next one. Hello, man. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Don't tilt, boys. Life you is not it? over. <laughs> let, let, life is not over. Don't tilt. <laughs> What are you doing here? He's kind of creator now. How are you? Betik bets. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Are you done? <laughs> Don't deal, Don't deal. Life is not over. This tournament wasn't a success, but we feel like we're snowballing. This last game on the tournament against Team Spirit definitely showed how we progress playing the best team in the world. Compare how the gameplay looked two months ago, three months ago to now, it's huge difference and yep, we're working, we're working hard.